Hey guys, get level here with hopefully a quick tutorial. Today, I just want to show you a little technique that I've been using for making promotional videos to advertise basically my videos about product reviews, like unboxing and stuff like that. And what I do is basically a little short promo with some B-roll shots, usually set to music. And I've been using a technique that really makes everything super easy and super fast for me. And basically, this is what I want to show you today. I created a new sequence here and I already have my b-roll footage in my project right here and i'm gonna play the music and basically this is a video that's gonna go on instagram on twitter the goal here is to chop this up in order to be set to the beat basically it, hit, it needs to follow the rhythm so what i usually do is that simple i will play the music and uh, keep my finger on the M button on my keyboard. That is the marker button. Make sure that nothing is selected. Otherwise, it will, if you have that selected, it might add the marker to your actual timeline. You don't want that to the actual track. You want it to the up top here to the timeline. But as so, actually, we're going to keep that one. Yeah, we're going to play it and basically tap wherever we want a cut to be. Pa 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 and that's the last one right okay but that's like 30 seconds. I probably don't have enough footage to fill this whole thing. And then here, basically what I would do is go on each clip. Of course, you're going to, you know, take your time to actually look at your clip, select the best parts of your clip. For example, I know that, you know, the smoothest parts is where I keep it and stuff like that. And I already did this uh, because I already shot like the main video, just not the promotional part. So it doesn't matter if it's too long. Try to keep it like as <laughs> long enough. At least it, it, it matters if it's too short but it's not a huge problem you will see so basically i have my in and out points on every single piece of b-roll footage that i already have right i even have this one where i just throw this okay <laughs> and what i'm gonna do now is actually select um there are some parts that i went back and shot i just want to make sure that everything is correct here i'm tapping i and o on my uh keyboard for the in and out points and you know, it's not going to do all the work for you, but it will definitely help a lot. Like this one, I know this is going to be a portrait mode. I will have to flip it if I want to include it anyway. So what I'm going to do now is actually go here, tap on my first B-roll footage and then tap on that last one while holding shift. It will select all of them. And then let me expand this a little bit right here. You will see something called automate to sequence. I'm going to make sure this is up here. Uh, click automate to sequence and here you will have the settings for that automate to sequence selection order. So it's going to be in the right order. That's what I want. Placement at unnumbered markers. This is what I totally did sequentially. I'm guessing it's just going to put them back to back um, method overwrite edit. That means that if you have one that is super long do you want it to continue or do you want it to cut it in order to fit the marker i always keep override edit and then for the clip duration you could put in and out range and then i ignore the audio most of the time right i should probably drag this audio over there but okay let's just click okay and see what it does would you look at that some of them are like extra short, but it supposedly has cut it to everywhere I placed a marker. So if you want to make sure that everything is uh, included here, you can go ahead and drag some parts just to make sure that it fills the edits. OK, drag here, I'm going to drag there. And basically it stopped here because that's the last clip. You know, I, I didn't have enough clips. Anyways, let's play it back and see what we have now.
And as you can see, it actually cuts it to the music. Now, this isn't a great example because I don't have enough clips, but basically in a couple seconds, you just tap to the rhythm and, and Adobe Premiere will know <laughs> where to cut basically. And you, you have a selection of clips that will be cut to the rhythm of the music. Now I can understand that this is something very niche, very particular, and maybe not for everyone, but I, I thought it was cool. So I decided to share it and um, yeah, that's it. If you guys would like to know more tips and tricks on video editing and stuff like that, leave a comment in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, that's how you automate a sequence of, of clips to the beat easily automatically almost. Anyways, hopefully you guys liked that, this video. Um, get yourself a Streamer Brain mug. <laughs> I really need to be better at pushing this mug. And uh, if you're looking for some dope overlays, if you're a live streamer, go to gumroad.com slash get level. Other than that, top right, you will see what YouTube deems the most important video for you to watch next. At the bottom of it, you will see my most recent video. So go check them out. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud. Get level, out.